Hi guys and back again to a little small talk video. Today the topic is uh, well, stuff, working on set, video work and my video film hobby. Um, yes, um, how I get to this film thing and how I get to this hobby to do film and video. It began where I got my first uh, nice camcorder. Um, it was a very small Panasonic uh, VHS camcorder. This, this VHS-C maybe call it. Some guys know this maybe. Um, <laughs> crazy nice little camera. Then I got my first mini DV cam, a Sony PC cam or the PC Air cam. And from my dad, I got a computer, it was a Pentium 4 uh, with a Firewire card inside. And there was my first step to work with video. This was crap, <laughs> completely crap. Then I start um, my normally work as a, as a handyman, as a technician guy, and yes, my film work was very resumed. I s parallel I do my photo work of a photo hobby. I got many cameras from a Canon EOS. Oh, EOS 400D was the first cam. I don't know. EOS 4, yes, maybe EOS 400 or 500, I don't know really. It was a very small cam. Um, this cam does not have video thing, uh, crap, complete. <laughs> but it take, took very nice pictures and I like to work with pictures. And the, um, this was nice, a great, great work with this little cameras. And then I started my um, my work at a uh, handyman really. And after this, I was on a special school. It's called TBZ in Bremen. It's a special technician school where uh, you learn things for your study as a uh, as an engineer or uh, uh, as a science on a university. And in this part, I got a Samsung, or, no, not a, it was a Sony camcorder. So it's a Samsung camcorder. It was a Sony camcorder, a full HD camcorder. And I started there my film thing for my um, hobby, uh, where I was skiing or snowboarding, um, where I did my music thing. But it stopped again. Uh, the camcorder was crap and so. The really start, to get in film was my my start on a, on a university here in Hamburg, on an institute um, where I got my audio engineer development, my audio engineer um, study. But uh, I start there uh, to learn audio things, and I, I I and I know there are some film guys. And I got more and more in the film universe um, because I love to work with cameras. In the past, for example, I lo lo love to shoot photographies. And um, that's the reason why I st start doing rolling films. First, I order a Canon EOS 16D, uh, 60D not Dean, um, this was a full HD and uh, HD camcorder, a camera, DSLR, and a 50 millimeter, a 50 mil, and this nifty 50. And I start to do some filming. Nothing special, nothing special. I took more photos with this camera than instead of filming. The real work began 2018. There I got my Sony A6000 and I start 
filming with this and I love this Kodak thing. I love this uh, small flange distance from the E-mount so I can adopt, adapt anything in glasses if I want from old vintage Canon FDs up to high-end Zenith uh, glasses. And this camera opened for me many, many um, possibilities to do filming. And that is why I start filming. Really, I bought many Sony cameras uh, and Panasonic. I got a GH5, a GH4, sorry. Um, I got a Sony A7 Mark I, the, the first. Then I got my... Sony uh, A7 uh, Mark II, sorry for I thinking it's a very long development. Then I bought a Sony A7 R Mark IV and now I film with a A7 R Mark III and parallel I order a Sony F7 I film on the, with this camera some documentations about my expeditions and about my um, sailing things. Um, I got more and more in contact with other filmers, with independent filmers. I wrote with uh, guys, they do high-end technical things. I um, get more and more in contact with studios in Hamburg. I got a job in one studio and, and learn and progress more and more on this step-by-step -step in high-end filming. And it, it's great, it's great. Um, it was, it was not, a, it was, a, it is a great progress higher and higher to uh, go to f uh, learn about filming and rolling films. Now my standpoint is I have two cameras, I have the a7R3, A7R4, a red DSMC 2 body with all accessories. In the future, I order a red Ranger. Now I have then high end cameras, and somebody may ask why need this guy high end cameras? Uh, and this, this guy is not working the professional thing. It's for me more a high-end hobby. It's a hobby to um, develop my, um, not develop, but okay. It's for me a hobby to do things f and show other guys, um, for example, my uh, expedition, my native country, Nepal, Norway, traveling. That is why I start this YouTube, YouTube channel. Maybe uh, you look in the introduction of this videos, uh, on this channel, for example. There I told um, why I do this uh, channel. In this channel, I want featured it out so you can see my film work. Maybe I upload old videos that are not uh, filmed with this camera or with this gear. Maybe I roll uh, some travel videos if I can travel or some other thing. That is the reason why I do this YouTube thing now because I have so man, much data and footage and I cannot show. I, okay, some footage are not 100 professional. For example, the small tech videos are um, a very quick and dirty setup. I set up, up my camera, I got this Lavier mic straight um, throw, it, throw, throw it in the camera. All, all um, small talk videos are not scripted. I use a cheapo TV for my monitoring and nothing, and a normal tripod. And uh, currently a manual focus lens because my other cameras are rented out. And um, yes, and this quick, uh, this quick, uh, dirty setups are sometimes greater than I uh, a professional planned setup. Um, for some guys, it looks maybe a bit chaotic or a bit unprofessional, 
But that is the thing is why it's so looking for you. I do it f now alone. I have no camera operator behind the camera, no Audi guy, no, nobody's here. <laughs> um, that, I, that is why sometimes, especially the small talk, we just look a bit uh, chaotic and unscripted. Sometimes this is uh, the best thing to work with cameras. Um, and so, and sometimes not. As a cam I learned in a studio here in Hamburg, the real camera operating work, I learned how to work with a crane, a jib. I work with a super techno crane. I learned some high-end jibs, low-end jibs, some gimbals. I personally use a DJI gimbal, the small, uh, how called the small one, the Ares or the, the Ronin, Ronin is the small, and the second bigger is the Ronin Ares 2. Sometimes I rent some other gimbal system from Tilta or from DJI, the Ronin 2, this big one where I use, uh, I can use my uh, Red DSMC2. Um, great gimbal for huge, huge uh, work. Um, I use with the Easy Rig and the gimbal, it's worked great. I work with Ari when I was on the on a music um, video work, uh, music video here in Germany, uh, MTV Unplugged. I work with Aris, uh, Ari, Ari Alexa, and Ari Amira, great cameras. Um, one of this camera was in the crane. And I'm a very versatile guy in camera. I'm, I learn it. But now I'm not working in this. I work more and more in my normally cutting machine operator work. The reason why I do it, I have no pressure on me. If I work as a real camera operator or a real uh, ca film guy, I have so much pressure to uh, give the client a result. And I will not do it. I will do my work. I have get my money monthly. <clears throat> and I have my, my, no problems, I have my work, after I um, finish my work, shut the doors and say, hey, I can do my hobby as the filming, I have no pressure. So, guys, do you film? I have some questions for you. Are you filming too? Uh, what do you film? Do you have a little uh, freelancer company? What cameras do you use? And so post it in the comments. And if you have questions to my work or maybe a help or um, other things, you can post it or ask me. Um, but uh, by the way, but uh, there are many other professional YouTube guys. They do. Uh, uh, film tutorials for some Philip Bloom, the camera store TV guys, uh, there's uh, some Asia guys, there are some review guys. I will not, I will maybe can do a tutorial how you can film, but um, there are too many tutorials and everybody say a different thing. So if you have, but if you have question or some other things, you can post it in my comments. So I wish you a good day. Have fun with your filming gear. And don't be upset if it not really work. Think positive and I wish you a good day. Thumbs up. And I say bye bye.